In this topology, if PC1 sends a broadcast, where will it go? Assume that switch 1 and switch 2 are not configured with any VLANs, except the default VLANs, and router 2 is configured with subnet 10.1.1.0 on gigabit 00 and subnet 10.1.2.0 on gigabit 01. In other words, the router has an IP address such as the following configured on gigabit 00 and an IP address of the following configured on gigabit 01. Where will traffic go if PC1 sends a broadcast? What do you think? Osteonado is a great little application that allows us to generate network traffic. So before I configure the PC to forward traffic, what I'll do is configure the router with an IP address on each interface. No configuration has been done on the switches. So where will traffic go if PC1 sends a broadcast? So show IP interface brief on the router shows us that both interfaces are up. Apart from that, I've done no configuration. Here's the console for PC1. So I'll start up Osteonado and on the Ethernet interface, I'm going to generate traffic. Now I need to use Ethernet 1 rather than Ethernet 0 on these Osteonado devices. So I'll recable the network. The principle, however, is the same. All I'm doing is flipping the interface number on the Osteonado devices. But where will traffic go? So I'll start a new stream generation. And I'll configure the PC to generate IP version 4 traffic. That's UDP traffic. I'll configure the MAC address as all ones. In other words, it's a broadcast frame. For the IP version 4 destination, I'll set it to a broadcast as well. So destination MAC address is all ones. In other words, a broadcast. It's IP version 4. Destination is a broadcast. So what I'll firstly do is start a capture between the switch and the router. And I'll also do it on this side. And then I'll capture traffic between the switch on the left and Osteonado PC2, as well as 3 and 4. What I'll do in this case is send a thousand frames at one frame per second. Click apply and start sending frames on the Ethernet 1 interface. So the frames being sent have increased. We've had about 10 frames sent now. So on the link between the switch and the router, so this is between iOS V layer 2 switch, gigabit 00, and the router on gigabit 00, we are seeing that broadcast traffic. What about on this link here? So this is traffic between the router and switch 2. Notice we don't see any UDP traffic. The broadcast traffic is not being received on this link. What about this link? So this is the link between iOS V layer 1, gigabit port 02, to Osteonado device 2. Filter for UDP traffic. You can see the broadcast traffic being sent on that port. So IP address and layer 2 address. So broadcast traffic is being sent here. What about on this link? So this is the link between iOS switch 2, Gigabit 01 and Osteonada 
three. No broadcast traffic is received there. And what about switch two gigabit zero two to Ostia NADA device four? No UDP traffic is received there. But we are receiving it between the switch and the router, and we are receiving it between the switch and the second Ostianada device. So in other words, a broadcast sent by this device is going to be flooded out of all ports on a layer two switch, except the port in which it arrived, but a router will block broadcast frames. Modern routers by default do not forward broadcast frames. So in this topology, we have what is called two broadcast domains. The router is blocking broadcasts on this link, so broadcasts are not forwarded. Now what happens if we put this PC into a separate VLAN? I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.